Well, hello there, Maniacs. Welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a Pokemon Ultra Sun. One look. Uh, in the previous episode, well, actually, between episodes, uh, I walked through the door. I walked up to the door, and then freaking Roto Rotom down here. He freaking was like, hey, let's do the the, the, the roulette thing. And I pressed A to try to progress that, because he asked me a question. And then I pressed A on the door. It's, it's a dumb thing. Anyway, we're here now. <laughs> Dasmo, look! The hidden door between the mirror is unlocked, and now we can use the warp panel! I knew we could do it, Dasmo! Here, let me heal your Pokemon first! I already went back to heal. Also, I lost Pokemon last episode. Uh, but two Pokemon down, I might, I might, uh... Excuse me, Jesus Christ! Uh, well, I guess, um... I thought the battle was gonna start right away, but I guess it didn't, because the cutscene played, you know? Uh, blood of time! Alright, so yeah, in three episodes we took on... <laughs> Lysandra, the villain from X and Y with his Mega Gyarados, and also his, uh, Xerneas. His Mega Gyarados took out our, uh, settlements, because I clicked the wrong freaking button. You, again, dude? I just did the thing. Why are you so sad? Cheer up, pal. Life is good. Life is worth living. What? I, I freaking... What? Do we do the lottery thing? Do it. Do the thing. I don't understand. We just did it. What do we get now? I didn't. I didn't see what we got last time, honestly. Oh, Roto boosts. All right, they're they're pretty rad. Oh, yep, good. All right, team recap time. So we have Gardevoir level seventy six with Moonblast, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Calm Mind. We have Muck level seventy seven with Protect, Toxic, Sludge Wave, and Bite. Uh, we have Nine Cells level 77 with Ice Beam, X Century, Dazzling Gleam, and Confuse Ray. And we have Decidueye level 76. The Spirit Shackle, Leaf Blade, False Type, and Acrobatics. Uh, Gardevoir, I forgot to do the items and the abilities. Uh, Gardevoir has the Synchronized ability with Swift Spoon. Mark has the Gluttony ability with the Leftovers. Uh, Nine Tails has Snowcloak with the Scope Lens. And Decidueye has Overgrow with no items because of Acrobatics, of course. Uh, I'm just gonna. I got the Road. I got the Road Boost, and so now, like, I'm scared. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna save right here at the start-ish of the episode. All right, so I'm gonna guess I'm gonna try to head through here. Hey, oh, he comes through there. He comes through there. So he was he was hanging out with Giovanni, I'm guessing. Um, uh, um, uh, black and white. I've done black and white on the channel. Well, on a channel. I've done, I've done a black and white series before. It was actually randomized rocket lock. Um, I can't wait to do it. Now, Banda, what do we have here? Come out from wondering what... No, he's, I think he's more like... He's deep voice than that. From, uh... From Pokemon Generations, he's a bit more deep voice than that. Well, now, what do we have here? I come out wondering what the commotion is, only to find the door to the center of the castle ajar. An intruder's running wild. It seems those team leaders from other worlds are not nearly as useful as I'd hoped. Who are you? Where's my mother? You haven't harmed her, have you? Mother, you say? I see. You're the daughter of the president. Why is President not capitalized? My name is Getsis. Also, your name gets a capitalization, but President doesn't. Mm -hmm. You think you're more, more important than the President, Getsis? Mm -hmm. I am representing Team Plaza. Even Team Plaza gets freaking capitalized. I, too, was summoned from another world, much like our leaders, other leaders you've defeated. There is no need to worry. You will find the President up ahead, blissfully asleep and dreaming. Mother! Ooh, denied. This is where... where this is where he gets, she gets slapped down, I guess. Getsus was kind of a dirtbag. I do like how he looks in 3D, but he's, he's kind of a douche, let's be honest. Ah, not so fast. Please get out of the way. Unfortunately, I cannot let that you go beyond this point. You see, I have been thinking long and hard about the reason I have been sent to this world, and now I believe I finally have the answer. My purpose is to travel between worlds, freeing all Pokemon from foolish people. Of course, that's what you would think. Why can't you just accept that it just happened? Some things just happen. They don't happen for a reason. Why can't you just accept that you just got thrown into another world for no particular reason? For someone else's plan, not your own. And at the same time, consolidate the power in all the worlds to myself. In order to achieve this beautiful ideal, however, I need a useful pawn. And that man, the Teeter of Liam Rocket, team... Did I, what did I say? Let's try that again. And that man, the leader of Team Rocket, is a man of pure evil. I thought I was going to say pure genius. Come on, man. He's pretty genius. He brought you to this world. If I can make good use of him and set up him as the king, I shall be able to reign supreme above all existence. Right? Because that was his thing. He, like, put N out there as the king. Now he's just using... Well, he's trying to use uh, Giovanni as his pawn, but I don't think that's going to go too well for him. 
No one's gonna take down my boy. No one's gonna use my boy Giovanni. Well, I mean, someone's gonna take him down. It's me. Of course. I have found that humans, with their predictable ambitions, are easier to control than a freak without a human heart. Yeet! Just throwing shade at N there, my boy. When's N gonna come in 3D? I want that. It wouldn't do that. It, what? It wouldn't do at all to have you get in his way. Especially when I must establish him as my king. Oh yeah, boy. Well, I'm repping. I'm repping Team Skull. Repping Team Rocket here. So uh, you better step off. You better step off, Giovanni. You must. You what? Must you insist on interfering with my plans? Very well then. All obstacles to my ambitions must be removed. All right. Okay. The final this game as well. I think I do. He's gonna end up having. Uh, either black or white Kurum. I don't think he'll have this plain Zekrom or Reshiram. I think he's gonna have Kurum. The fusion, maybe? So I'm thinking about that. Like, do they even have that mechanic in this game? They probably would. Uh, this is a ghost type, right? Got so caught up in the plot there that I forgot there was a battle about to happen. Uh, okay, this is alright because we can we can go into Shadow Ball. We're using our own ghost type move against the ghost type. Uh, wait, we're psychic. I forgot about that. And, uh, Fairy, for some reason, doesn't resist Ghost. I don't know why I said- wait. Ooh. Power Split. What does Power Split do? Averages the use of attack and special attack stats with those of the target Pokemon? Whatever. I'm gonna keep going on with it. That- I don't- We should still take you out, right? Yup. Cool. Good job Power Splitting, I guess. You might think that, like, you're setting up or something, but we're probably gonna switch. Buffalant, uh, I think that's a switch into Decidueye. Because normal type moves aren't gonna do anything against it. Uh, I'm predicting we'll have a dark type move, though. You watch it happen. You watch it happen. Watch me lose Decidueye right here, right now. Uh, Leaf Blade versus. Uh, Leaf Blade. Step! Leaf blade, get that stab, boo! Get it, cause it's a blade, and I'm stabbing. Oh, yeah. oh mega horn! That's a bug type move, but it's neutral, cause we're ghost. Oh, good, that worked out. S withdrew. What are you sending? Buy shop. Uh. Um. That was a crit. That was a crit. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Oh my god. I don't have anything for this thing. Uh, poison's not gonna do anything. It's gonna resist dark. It's psychic's not gonna do anything. It's gonna resist ice. Dazzling Gleam's neutral. But Ice Fairy is twice weak, four times weak even, to freaking steel. Uh, Psychic's not gonna do anything. It's gonna resist Shadow Ball. Moon Boss is gonna be neutral, but again, well, it's not. It's not four times, but it's. God of Us too weak for it. God of Us weak to steel and to dark. Um, what do I do here? <laughs> I is this it? Are we done? I think we're done. It's gonna go for it. It's gonna go for a dark type move. Dark does resist itself. Switch into Mark so you can take the hits. Coming out, Mark! Nightshade. That's not gonna do much. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's okay. That is fine. Get that health back, Mark. I'm gonna protect. See if he has anything dangerous with an earthquake out. Shoot him the earthquake from the buy shop. Can buy shop get earthquake? I don't know. What it used? I just see what it used! I'm too busy looking at myself in the camera. I didn't see what it used. I'm just gonna go for bite. Maybe we can get the cheap flinches off. Iron head. That's don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. Okay, good. I kind of want to get the flinches, but I guess I do not speed. You're gonna resist, but we can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can stall this out. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just keep using iron head. We'll keep not. Oh, you flinched. You flinched. So if I know he's gonna use Iron Head, can I use that? I can switch into the Sigurai, but it's not gonna do anything. 
and it'll probably kill Nine Tails, and it's gonna do serious damage. Two will probably kill Godvar as well. I don't know what to do. I think I just gotta heal. I think I just gotta go for the heals here. We'll keep on healing. And then we'll heal some more to stay together. To find the place we're healing for. I'm on the road. Uh, why does it seem like it's doing more and more every time? If you can just not. If you could just not. I'm gonna protect. I'll stall you out, boy. You best believe I'm gonna stall you out. I'm gonna keep getting my heels on. I'm playing the tactics. You got a dumb Pokemon. Yeah, see, this is why I think we need another. We need more Pokemon. Because what if he? What if Giovanni has a buy shop as well, or something equal to it? <sighs> we flinched again. How many Iron Heads do you have, boy? How many Iron Heads do you have? Can we wear out your Iron Heads, maybe? I. I'm gonna look up the PB for Iron Heads. Iron Head. It's this Ron Head. I just typed in Ron Head. Uh, go for a bite. It has 15. Normally, with no PP maxes. Woo! That was close! We didn't flinch. Always good. I see no other tactic. I think we just gotta. We gotta. St wait for him to lose all the. Wait. That's not gonna work. No, it will. I was gonna say he has more Iron Heads than I protects, but that's. It doesn't matter, because he's still using them, you know, when I'm not protecting. Uh... <laughs> I guess I heal again? Uh, I should have healed instead of protecting there, last turn. Do I have max potions? Do I have max potions? I do have max potions. There they are. Uh. Who would have thought Buy Shop would be the Pokemon that stands up to be the most? That is what I love about freaking Nuzlocke, man. You just never know what Pokemon's gonna give you trouble. Uh, we'll go for Bite again. Maybe we can take him out if we get lucky. Oh my god, he's gonna flinch. He's gonna flinch. Called it. Called it! So I can still protect, right? Like... The last move I used wasn't protect. Well, tried to use, okay. I wasn't sure if with the heals, it would count as I used another move already. Uh, I should heal anyway, right? Like... How much damage is... Hindhead doing. Oh damn! Uh, I'm gonna use the high potion. I know that won't fully heal, but I just want to see how much it does. How much this iron head is actually doing to me? Two twelve. Uh, down to one ten. That's a lot. That's like one or two. I did a math. Uh, so we should we should live this. I'm gonna use bite. Iron head. Don't crit. Don't crit. And we good. Can you just? Why did that? That did less. That did much less than before. I'm just gonna keep healing. I don't know what else to do. I just keep on dying. Oh my god, he has a freaking full restore, dude. I forgot enemies can heal as well. Oh no, he's gonna run out of Iron Heads though, he's gonna run out of Iron Heads. Like, he, he he has to. He has to eventually run out of Iron Heads. I haven't been keeping track of how many he's used, he's gotta get there soon though. Surely it's gotta be soon. Oh my god, this is so tedious for you guys to watch, I'm so sorry. Uh, protect, I thought this was gonna be a quick one. We didn't have to do any puzzles or anything before it, but maybe I was just ding dong wrong. He ran out of Iron Heads. He ran out of Iron Heads. Now he's just using Nightshade, which I resist. All right, I think now I can do it. Now we can do it, right? I knew you had Stone Edge. I got worried because I thought like, for a split second, I thought Stone Edge was a ground type move. I don't know why, but that's... Does Stone Edge flinch as well? Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely, I will definitely go uh, get some new Pokemon before we before we go up against Giovanni. Just uh, 
purely to avoid a situation like this again. This is silly. This is silly. This is silly. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Ah, oh, the bulky, bulky battle of epicness. What's he got left? Bofalin? Is no, did that go down? I can't remember. Did he throw that? And then he's probably just got like the Kurum white or black. One of the two doobly doo. X is a. What if I just make him lose all of his moves? And just make him start struggling himself. I want to protect for um the legend too, but. Oh my god! I didn't really. I didn't know he had two full restores, and then I wasted my protect! I didn't need to use protect! Ugh. Ugh! I hate this! This is really dumb. I am so far done with just this. I gotta play safe though, man. I, I, I wish Bioshot wasn't resisting me. This could actually get to Struggle Street. This could actually get to the struggle point. It could happen. Alright. I don't know why I'm thinking, alright, like something climactic is gonna happen. I'm just gonna keep using Bi. Really? I, I need I need a drink. I need a drink. A hard one. But I got water. That's all I got with me right now. I did not go down right. Let me try that again. There we go. That was a hearty dose of water. I don't know. I just clicked. I just clicked bite. I wasn't even thinking. Don't crit. Oh boy, is that a critted? Is that a critted? Holy crap! When you're distracted by yourself drinking water, uh, I'm gonna keep healing. I don't really see what else I can- Hey, he's doing it too. It's not like I'm just healing. He's doing it too. He would have been down eons ago. If uh, he just not healed. Only good guys can heal. You know? You know what I'm saying? Alright. Mm. Bye. Gonna keep, go ahead and keep using bite, believe it or not. That's what I'm gonna do as I'm sitting here. Just spamming bite. I'm gonna click bite again. Bet you didn't see that coming. He's he just if he has another full restore, I'm gonna break my 3DS. If he has another full restore, something's gonna break in this room. Can he just fucking die? Just fucking die. Get this used to full restore. <laughs> Yay! He did. Well, that was dumb. That was one of the dumbest battles I've ever done. And I'm waiting for the comments to be like, You could have done that so much better, why don't you just... Nah, this is how I dealt with it, okay? I didn't know he was gonna heal consistently when I when I got myself into this. Bofalint. Oh, he withdrew against Decidueye. So I think putting Decidueye back in is a good call. Come on out, Bofalint. Gonna kick your ass with my leaf blade. Cause your owner's a cheap dick and I didn't like the way he kept healing the buy shop. And you're dead! That was a crit. Couldn't I got the crit the first time? Or one of the crits against, you know, the buy shop that I just fought? That would have been great. Hydreigon. Hydreigon is asking for nine tails. Uh in fact fairy is four times big four times strong against. It's so I'm not even gonna go for ice beam. I was gonna go for ice beam because I like to. I like. I just like to try to get the freeze chance. But dazzling gleam, coming out. One hit wonder. One hit wonder. You're not living this. Woo! That was some fast XP melting right there. Show me that legend, boy. Show me that legend gets us. I'm waiting for it. Oh, he does. He does just have Zekrom. Well, that shows what I know. Uh, it's a dragon. It's electric. I see no reason why we don't stay in here. No reason why we don't stay in here. Nine tails putting in the work against the dragons this episode. Uh, Dazzling Gleam or Ice Beam? Ice Beam is 90. Dazzling Gleam is 80. Ice Beam's got a chance to freeze. Why did we not use Ice Beam? 
No reason not to. Freeze? Ten. Oh, we avoided the attack! Nine tails! You beast! <laughs> the freaking buy shop took up more of a fight. I mean, put up more of a fight than uh, Zekrom did. Zekrom, it's one attack missed. And we, we come in with the V. We come in with the victory right here. Not the other type of V. Didn't think about that before I said it. Bad me. Bad, bad, bad. Alright, level 70, I'm guessing... I'm guessing Mewtwo's gonna be level 70, because that's just traditional. Might be 80. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 80. But everything has to be around 60, I think. I don't know. Anyway, I couldn't have been defeated by some random trainer from who knows where. Well, I think... Well, I'm not really a random trainer. I'm the freaking champion. I think at that point I stopped being random. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands. I am absolutely perfect. I am perfection. Well, when you're conceited... Ain't nothing perfect about someone who's uh, got their head up with their own ass. Gets this. Get sass. <laughs> I am the perfect ruler of the perfect new world. You can last. Now please step aside. It cannot be possible. I will not accept this. This one he like knocks her. Ah! Wow, you dickhole. Whoa, no, no, no. You don't get get it, do you? I can't be defeated. Finally, someone's like, you know what? You beat me in a Pokemon battle, but I can still stand here and fight you. It cannot be allowed. You, tiny intruder, if you value your girl's life, throw aside your Pokeballs at this moment. Whoa. You... Yeah, he was kind of a dick. He was a jerk. Gets this. He was uh, all about the underhanded tactics. Desmo, please don't listen to him. Shut your mouth. What's this? Your Pokeballs are shaking. Could it be that they're shaking with rage? No matter. Throw away your Pokeballs right now. This isn't what is happening. I freaking refuse. I don't. I don't value Lily's life that much. I'm not giving up my Pokemon to protect Lily. Are you not listening? Or did you simply not understand? Well, you leave me no choice. This girl must. Chorus! Freaking teleporting. Super Saiyan Chorus. Just teleport into the room. All epic. I see you are still dedicated to your own desires, Gets this. Y you Wait. Are you from a different world too? Is this Chorus from a different world? It's been a while. I don't remember what voice I did for him, but this is what I'm going now. Mr. Lee, it's good to see you again. We ran into each other back at the lab, perhaps you recall. M Mr. Chorus? Ah, oh, new Dasmo, we meet again. Miss Vic has sent word that you may need assistance. You'll have to forgive my rudeness, but I followed your trail using an invisibility... What? You've invented an invisibility device? Where's my stealth device, mate? It seems Getsus here has caused you quite some trouble. Although it appears this Getsus is from a different world than the one I know. Oh. Alright, so, but wait... From a different world from the one you know. Does that mean you are from a different world? You're just not from his world. Is that... I'm confused. Oh, this world. He said the course of this world. Okay. Alright. Glad that's cleared up then. Of course, the course of this world. But you should have no reason to meddle in my plans. <laughs> oh, please. I simply despise you, Gessis. That's enough reason for me. What? What's this? My body's being pulled. No! no! What the hell? What? Chorus can just <laughs> teleport people away? Did you send him back to, like, his world? Oh, is that what was happening to the others? That's what that's what was doing it before. He was sending them back, I think. It seems like repeated use is not a problem. Even with this prototype, I should have known code number 1102 would work. Is Colorus a freaking tech god? How does he how does he invent this stuff? He's the real Rick of this this uh this series. Thank you for helping us, Miss Colorus! But he but what did you do to that man? <laughs> I, I read ahead and I, I saw the word dimensional channel and I'm just like, what? I simply just his dimensional channel, if you will, and sent him back to his original world. How? How do you do that? But get this man with, with power to match his ambition. And um, um, ambition. He is not someone to be taken lightly. I can only hope that the taste of defeat will keep that gets us out of trouble in his world. Yeah. Yeah, probably not likely. But turning Ether Paradise back to its original form, with all the different worlds missing together, that will be easy, even for me. This is a tremendous power at, of evil at the center of this castle. What? There's a tremendous power of evil. I don't. That doesn't sound right to me. There's a tremendous power of evil at the center of this castle. If we can remove that man's twisted desires, the Colossus Machine should be able to revert everything back to normal. You mean Team Rocket's boss? But even if we do something about him, everything will be fixed. Indeed, Mr. Lee. You are very sharp, young lady. No, boy, you are. Uh, you bark up the wrong tree there. She is not bright. She is. She. She. She's cute. She. Uh. She's got. She's got good ambitions, but she. She ain't bright. 
<laughs> I would love to study this castle. However, still leave. Uh, what? I let the I would bad, 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 bad. I read that wrong. I'd like to study this castle, however. So I'll leave the rest to you. There we go. Okay, that is well, sure. We'll do another one. This is like what our third freaking Roto freaking spinning. Why can't Rotom just be happy? You're like one of the coolest Rotoms ever. You're in. You're in a freaking. You're in a freaking Pokedex. One of the most technologically advanced things in this freaking game. And you can't be happy with that, boy. You can't be happy with that. Rotor hatches, cool. That'll be handy when I decide I want to breed. If I ever do that. Uh, with that, that, that being done, we are going to call it an episode. We didn't lose a Pokemon this episode. Hey, uh, I will go scoop up some... Uh, will I? Will I, though? Maybe I won't. I think I'm sad that I won't. Maybe I will. I'll see what we have in the box. I'll have a poke around. See if there's anything I really want to add to the team for Giovanni, but if not, I'll just go with the four. All right. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you like down below. If you comment, let me know what you thought. Subscribe to the bell button and it's question today. And to the next episode, where we face Giovanni. I just realized this is the finale, most likely. All right. Until then. Oh.